Hey there, Libra. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Libra, for the week of April 24th. Libra, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. If you have already, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. And this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Libra anywhere in your chart. Or if you're just checking in on a Libra, you're definitely welcome here. But it might not resonate with all of you, just so you're aware. All right, Moon Oracle card for Libra. Spirit, tell me about Libra. Tell me about Libra. Some emotions are running high. Let's see what this is. Step out of your comfort zone, the North Node. <laughs> <laughs> you can't ask a Libra to step out of their comfort zone. <laughs> what is on the bottom? A time to give rather than take. Ooh, wow. Spirit is really asking you to step out of your comfort zone here. Virgo, that's interesting, Virgo. Libra, Libra. Virgo. Oh, it's the new moon in Virgo. That's where I got it from. Okay. Libra, give me an animal spirit. Ooh, an octopus. Got some messy relationships there. You got to... Uh, clear up some of those relationships around you here because they're a little overwhelming. They're asking a lot from you. They're asking a lot of your time, a lot of your energy from you. So, um, yeah, there's some messy relationships there. Ooh, and the shark. Look at this Libra. Wow. Wow. Step out of your comfort zone and um, clean up some of these messy relationships. I think they're making you edgy or making you... Um, not trust yourself here. Interesting. Zen tarot card. Zen tarot card for Libra. Beyond illusion. Look at this. You're about to see the truth. You're about to see something very clearly here. Wow. Interesting. 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 Beyond illusion. And receptivity on the bottom of the deck. Wow. Something about that uh, head. Something about the information coming into you. Look at that lotus flower over the headspace there. And you've got the chakras over the headspace of the octopus there. So some kind of spiritual information coming to you. Something happening with the third eyes opening up. You see there over the headspace. Once again, there's something happening here. There's something opening up for you. A new channel opening up or a new, uh, oh gosh, something very spiritual coming here. Wow, some kind of spiritual revelation or spiritual upgrade or step up here. Spirit is asking you to step up here into your spirituality, whatever whatever that means to you. All right, what are you thinking about right now, Spirit? Tell me what Libra's thinking about right now. Libra, tell me about Libra. Work. <laughs> and being very overwhelmed, having a lot on your plate here, dealing with a lot of projects and... Um, Boy, you got to take a minute. You got to take a minute here. So there's something urging you to, to be taken a uh, look at, to look at here. Look how she's uh, taking that minute to smell that candle, to light that candle. Spirit is asking you to take that minute to meditate here, Libra, because something's trying to get in. Something's trying to be revealed to you. What's in the recent past? What led up to this? Ooh, the sun. Look at this. It's like you were the chosen one to receive this information, to receive this upgrade here, Libra. Wow. Wow. Being asked to really, really step up and channel something. Spirit's trying to get something through to you. It can only come through to you in meditation time here. So be receptive. Be receptive to spirit here. They've got uh, very, very valuable uh, information that you are in download mode for. You are downloading. Wow. <laughs> wow. What's the challenge? What is the challenge here for Libra? really taking that information and moving forward with it getting that information out translation translation is the challenge here so wow it's just a matter of practicing here it's like learning what that information means to you and then translating it back out into the collective here wow Libra, this is a big calling. This is a very big calling. You're being asked to get something viral here. You're being asked to spread the word about something, to get some kind of message out that was downloaded to you, that you were chosen to uh, to receive this information. Wow, geez, that's big. That's really big. <laughs> the chosen one. Wow, Libra. <laughs> 
What else? The Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. So you had to go through some tests to get here. You had to go through some uh, very, very valuable lessons to, um, it kind of uh, uh, shut you down. It kind of scared you into getting messages out there. Maybe somebody shot you down or somebody made fun of you or somebody uh, said something to make you doubt it. But boy, there is just no doubt that Spirit is trying to get a message through to you that you take out, that you translate, that you translate some kind of, you're a channel or Libra, that you translate and you get the message out there. You spread that, you spread that uh, word or that message or that feeling or that healing, something to do with spirituality. What's in the heart space? Tell me what Libra is feeling. The emperor, wow. Very determined, very determined. There is literally nothing that will stop you this time. There's been some kind of shift where you put yourself, you pushed yourself out of the way to receive this message here. And I can see this message flowing to you from spirit into the sun energy here into the emperor. It just keeps going. It, it was channeled to you. It was flowed to you for purpose. What led up to this? What was the reasoning here in the heart space? With Libra's and emotions, let me see. What led up to this preparation and planning in the Queen of Cups? Wow, wow. So you really held this message in for quite some time. Maybe you revealed it and it changed something in you. It was like, ah, it's not meant to be shared though. It's not meant to be shared. People aren't receiving me like I was hoping or how I was understanding it. So maybe you tried translating this in the past and you just weren't ready. It wasn't the right time. It was absolutely um, needing to happen in a certain time here because the collective had to be ready. The collective had to know what this meant to them and so they could translate it into their own terms here but wow you've been planning for this you've been preparing you've been in preparation mode <laughs> oh look at this with the nine of swords in the heart space ouch ouch you had to go through some trials and tribulations to have you change your perspective on things to have you really move forward with this message and understand what its meaning was so you had to experience some things so that you could come into some understanding of what that meant to you how to translate it correctly here libra ow <laughs> what else in the heart space tell me about the immediate future i see the two a decision, a decision about what? About you getting that message out there or your translation of it. That is interesting. Look at this. So many cards want to jump out. Seven of Cups. Wow, wow. Just really feeling overwhelmed again. Too many choices. There's too many choices right now. So maybe there's just a lot of energy around you because you are in download mode now. So, wow, it's becoming quite overwhelming. And the Ace of Wands, you're going to find that clarity. The Ace of Swords wants to come out, and that's it. Or this one is sideways. This is the challenge, the apathy card. So you're thinking it's not meant for you. You're missing the message because you think it's meant for someone else, or you're supposed to relay a message to help someone else. Libra, this is to help you. This is to help you. It's to help you clear away the confusion, clear away the messy relationships, cut the ties of those relationships that really keep you down, that really hold you down, that make you feel small, that make you feel unworthy. There's just this kind of influence of energy over you right now because spirit is trying to get this message clearly to you. So there's just a lot of static, a lot of you needing to really fine tune that channel, tune into the messages that mean something to you, to tune into the spiritual messages that light you up, that make you feel good, that are not filled with fear. You've got to rid yourself of any of this dark night of the soul energy so that you can come into this true calling of yours to receive the light messages, the light codes. There's light codes that need to come in, but there's just so much static. Look at how clear-minded in the foundation, though. This is absolutely beautiful. There's an intense focus on this by you, and that's going to bring in the clearer messages. It's like you are um, cleansing away the clutter here. You're cleansing away the dark energies that are trying to get through and you're just focused solely on the light here and that brings everything in i'm loving that um focus that intense that laser focus libra i love this i love this it's your way of really uh taking that dial and just tuning it in just waiting for the clear messages like that's it i'm not gonna move don't move <laughs> <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> I got it. Like somebody standing in front of you with the bunny ears and the tinfoil and their arms up in the air. And you're like, Don't move. There it is. There it is. 
there it is. Oh my God, really, truly. Because look, another ace, the ace of cups. It's like you found it. You found the message. You found the right station. You found that right vibration for you. <laughs> yes. Receptivity is right. You are ready now. You're ready. You've got those rabbit ears tuned. You've got the uh, uh, mountaintop signal now. You, you did it. You held it. You held the signal up high enough. Look at that. You were waiting for so long to, for that enlightenment, for that signal. You waited for that signal. You were absolutely waiting for that signal. But the hangman came out in reverse. I'm going to leave it in reverse. So did justice. There was a lot of injustice happening to you. There was a lot of injustice to push you into this laser focus. It was like, wow, intense, intense focus on this because I'm looking for the light codes. I've had enough of the dark codes. I've seen enough of that. I'm looking for the light now. But a lot of injustices happened here because there you are in reverse here. So wow, wow, just real injustice happening to you. But it's a brand new beginning. You have this laser focus because of it. You will not be distracted. You will not be distracted by the false prophets by the false codes that have come in you you know how to tune them out now you know you could literally be sitting in front of a a, a narcissist or somebody who's just uh, very resolute sitting on the planet mars and you you're tuning them out you're only tuning into what you need to know you're on a need to know basis libra <laughs> that love that knight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck very slow moving energy but energy that is gaining momentum all right, what is in the mind space of others? Tell me about the people surrounding Libra. The two of cups, look at this, the merging of energies, the coming together, the um, fine tuning of it all, the fine tuning of it all. So there's somebody in your midst fine tuning with you that has uh, uh, been there, has been there. Interesting, I wonder how you feel about this person. Let's see, let's see. Knight of Cups, look at that. This person is coming to you with very loving offers here, with very uh, emotional offers here, with words that are filled with emotion and um, very, very uh, useful, very innocent, very um, uh, shocking to you, shocking to you. But uh, wow, that's, that's very uh, intense. Somebody just really opening up, really opening up. I wonder if that makes you feel uncomfortable. Two of Pentacles, look at that. You got two of Cups and two of Pentacles, or they do, and the three of Cups. Wow, interesting, interesting, interesting. So there's somebody in your friend group, somebody who's offering you emotional support here, somebody telling you that uh, you can do it, or they see they see something in you, or they want to celebrate something with you, but um, they're making decisions. They're in some kind of decision mode here of should they open up to you, and... Uh, the Three of Cups just tells me friendship, friendship group, friendship group. Like somebody has um, has uh, stepped up. Somebody stepped up. Yeah, somebody has stepped up and has openly expressed themselves, and that makes you feel uncomfortable. You don't know what to say. What's in their heart? What's in this person's heart? What's in this person's heart? Tell me about Libra's person. Ooh, Seven of Swords. There's some kind of sneakery going on there. There's some kind of uh, illusion there that you can see through now because you've been you've been receiving this information about someone or the truth about some situation here or you've gathered the facts and there was some sneakery going on. There was some deliberate confusion headed your way here by someone here. So, wow. Wow, you really saw through it. You have really stepped up. And since you changed that channel, since you got rid of that static, you can hear very clearly. So it was just like red flag, red flag, and you spotted it. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Eight of Pentacles. Look at that. Eight of Pentacles twice. It's like there was a narcissist in the workplace here. And you know how to deal with that now because you were so unjustly treated in the past. You had to learn how to forgive without uh, someone saying, I'm sorry. You had to learn that very, very valuable lesson of learning how to forgive without the apology here. And it taught you so much, but there was a narcissist in your midst at the workplace or wherever you're making your money here. Somebody trying to get away with more than their fair share here. 
and we're offering you words of emotion that felt very, very hollow to you. It's like, I'm not buying it for some reason. I can't tell why I'm not buying it. Well, that was spirit. That was spirit clearing the static so that you could hear what this person was saying. You saw right through it. You saw right through it. Wow. Queen of Swords. Wow, this person got uh, very um, threatened by you, very threatened by you when you could see through them, when you, all of a sudden, it was like, I don't like that Libra. I don't like that person. <laughs> wow, wow. And that was a struggle. That was a struggle for you because you're very balanced and you were treated so unjustly in the past. I don't know if it was by this person or by someone in the past, but this lesson just kept getting thrown in your face about um, um, justice, justice. You had to really learn the lesson of justice and um, how to bring that back into balance with only your doing so, with no offers. Um, now the offers might be coming, now the apologies might be coming, but it's like you don't need that anymore. You don't want that anymore. What's in the foundation of this? What's in the foundation of this? this person. The devil. This person was very toxic, very toxic. It was very, very difficult for you to channel information with all of this toxic information coming at you with all of this doubt and insecurity and um, fear, just a lot of fear. And you had already been treated so unjustly in the past by someone that, boy, this devil just couldn't tempt you with that, just couldn't tempt you with those sweet, shallow words, could they? It's just you were not buying it. It's just like, I don't want that ice cream. I don't want that. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. <laughs> and it's not, it's not worth it. Not with all that trickery, not with all of that greed involved in that fear and that, uh, 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 power that just that seeking power over you or over someone. It just, uh, a real uh, uh, intrusive energy, a very much intrusive energy with these temptations, with these shallow words. Wow. Knight of Wands, this person had all kinds of temptations, all kinds of grandiose um, ideas that they were gonna make happen, right? That they were gonna pull off, or like they were some kind of superhero or something, but you saw right through it. The high priestess, this person is very, um, they, they can kind of uh, read the room. They can kind of read um, how to play this right. They're very, very smart, very cunning. This person is very cunning and um, knows how to read the room right. But boy, you have really, really um, uh, seen through this person's mask. Very, very much so. And judgment. Look at this. Look at this judgment over your in reverse justice here, Libra. Justice is served. Judgment is made. And uh, you are the uh, victor here. You you saw right through it. You, you weren't buying it. And this person did not like that you could see through that. So they tried to even make it worse for you. They tried to um, really exaggerate things that just... Um, that just tried to take you down. This person really just tried to take you down and you saw right through it. It got you down for a minute. I can tell you with the nine of, with the nine of swords there, you were up in your head. You were doubting that anyone would really be able to see the situation for the truth that it was, that they'd be able to see beyond the illusion of this person. This person was very charming, very, um, uh, very tempting, very tempting. It was very tempting to fall into the beliefs of this person, but you saw right through it, Libra. You saw right through it, and this person is very cunning. So that is the messy relationship that had to be cut here, and you, you cut it. I, I, I'm so proud of you because you learned how to take down the narcissist. You learned how to um, not run from it, not scream, run screaming from this person, not saying, um, I, you're too strong for me. You're too, you just really stepped up and you said, there is nobody that can overpower me. There is nobody that can impress their will upon my free will. And, um, you stuck right up. Wow. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
You were uh, absolutely um, called to do this. You were called to do this to start changing that energy, to start bringing that that bully kind of uh, mentality back into perspective and back into um, perspective where they belong. That they they got very exaggerated for a while, Libra, and you got you got caught up in that. You got caught up in that um, uh, very very um, hard. Uh, battle there but boy you 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 did it you did it look at the six of swords on the bottom of the deck just just sneaking out of there now just you've done your job you, the job is over the job is done there with at least that person so good for you and it can never happen again too that's the beauty of surviving these kinds of relationships is it can never uh, happen again they will never be able to bring you down to the depths that they can bring other people down because you'll never lose yourself never to another soul so I love that. Oh, leave us beautiful. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Libra, I hope you have a fantastical week, and I will definitely tune in soon.